your question is on the same diagram sketch y is equal to 2 sin x and y is equal to 2 plus cos 3x for 0 degree less than equal to x less than equal to 360 degree hence state number of solution for 2 sin x is equal to 2 plus cos 3x now what we have to do so first you can see here they have given y is equal to 2 sin x. That only we will write. y is equal to 2 sin x. So now if you see here they have given sin x. Sin x means first we have to make sine wave. Normal sine wave. And its duration should be from 0 to 360 only. We know that sine wave one cycle completes in 360 degree. So therefore we will draw one cycle and at the same time we know that sine wave moves from plus 1 and minus 1 amplitude. So therefore what we will do in positive side it will be plus and in negative side it will be minus. Now see this, 2, that means if you make a bracket here, it will be multiple of that. That means 1 into 2 and minus 1 into 2. It will be 2 and minus 2. The wave should, the amplitude should move from 2 to minus 2. For first diagram for the sign. Next what they have given, see that. Second one is 2 plus cos 3x. Y is equal to 2 plus cos 3x. So we know that cos cycle is also from 360 degree. One cycle is 360 degree. So here they have given 3x. It means that V 3x is equal to 360 degree. 3x is equal to 360 degree. So x is equal to 360 by 3. That is equal to 120 degree. Now we have to complete one cycle of cos in 120 degree. That means we will get 3 cycles now. So we will get 3 cycles. Now, see the amplitude. Next comes your amplitude. So, in cos also we know that cos varies from 1 to minus 1. So, here also the same thing. 1 and minus 1. Amplitude varies in cos. But here they have given 2 plus 2. So, what we have to do? We have to just add here plus 2. And here also plus 2. So now it will be 3 comma 1. So now the cos wave what we will draw. It should vary from 3 to 1 only. So now your reference. Here the reference is 0. First one. From 1 and minus 1 reference is 0. But here the reference is 2. What they have given that. Instead of 0, 0 plus 2 is 2. So now, by taking these data, we will try to make a graph. So graph should be just like this. This is your x-axis, this is your y and this is your y direct. And this is your 0. Now we will make the amplitudes. So see the amplitudes. So here the maximum is 3. And here the maximum is 2. That means here we have to make 3. 1. This is your 2. And this is your 3. In negative side what we have to make? Here it is again 1. And here minus 2. So here we have to make minus 1 and minus 2. 
comes here. So here first we will divide it into four parts only. 90 degree, 180 degree, 270 degree, 360 degree. So this is your 90 degree. Next comes your 180 degree. Next comes your 270 degree. And last is your 360 degree. So first we will draw sine. In sine, the amplitude should be 2. Directly we can make 2. So we know that sine 0 is 0. So here, the wave will be here. Start with here. Next, sine 90 degree is 1. But we have to multiply by 2. So therefore, it will be 2. At 90 degree, it should go to 2. Now, next is sine 180 degree is again 0. So at 180 degree, it will be 0. At 270 degree, again it is minus 1. Minus 1 into 2 is minus 2. So here it will come here. At no, uh, 270 degree is here. No. At 360 degree, sine 360 degree, that means again 0. So here it will come. So now the wave of the sine, that is your 2 sine x is how? It will move from here, it will go to 2, then again to 0, from 0 to minus 2 and from minus 2 to 0. So this wave is your y is equal to 2 sin x. Comes here. We have to complete one cycle in 120 degree. So just we have to see that. So that means every Degree we have to divided by 3. Hmm? Okay. So see that first. Sine 0 degree is 1. 0 degree is 1. 1 divided by 3 is 0 only. Now amplitude should how much? Plus 2. That means it should go to 3. So here it will be, it will start from here. Sin 90 degree is 0. 90 divided by 3 is 30 degree. At 30 degree it should be 0. But 0 plus 2 is 2. So therefore at 30 degree. 30 degree. It should come to 2. So here it will come like this. This is your 2. Next, sine 180 degree is, sorry, not sine, cos 180 degree is minus 1. Minus 1 plus 2 is 1. Therefore, at six, 180 divided by 3, that means at 60 degree, we have to divide, na? each part we have to divide. So, we know that at 90, cos 90 is 0. So, 90 divided by 3 is 30. Next is cos 180. 180 is minus 1. Divided by 3 is 60 degree. So 60 degree will come here. At 60 degree it should be 1. So 1 will be here. So now the graph will be here. Like this. Next. Next it is what? 270 degree. 270 degree divided by 3 is 90 degree. 
at 270 degree it is what? 0. 0 plus 2 is 2. So at 90 degree it should again go to 2. That means it will go here. At 360 degree divided by 3 that means at 120 degree. At 120 degree it will again go to 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. So at 120 degree it will go to 1. Here. So this is one complete cycle. So we have to draw three cycles. We have to draw three cycles. Now see this. So repeat this. This add from here to here. So that is 150 degree. Then sorry. 150 degree is here. At 150 degree, again it will come to 2. At 180 degree, again it will come to 1. So 1 is here. Next, what we have to do? Again we have to make 210. Every 30 degree we have to add. So 210. At 210 again it will go to 1. At 240 degree it will go to 2. At 270 degree again it will come to 2. Oh sorry. Uh, 2. At 300 degree, it will come to 1. At 330 degree, again it will go to 2. At 360 degree, it will go to 3. So this wave is your y is equal to 2 plus cos 3x. Now next what they have told see that they have told state number of solutions where the two waves intersect that is your number of solutions. So now you can see here first they are intersecting here second they are intersecting here. So therefore you will get two solutions. So we will get two solutions. So like this we have to draw it and we have to write the solutions.